we'll do the press conference to begin with. Joe will have some opening remarks, then we'll introduce Matt, and we'll take some questions from the media. Members of the media, raise your hand. We have the microphone because we do have a live streaming audience. And when you uh, ask your question, in order to help Matt get to know you, please introduce yourself and also your affiliation. And when we're done with the uh, press conference, there is a post uh, reception, second floor of the Moody Center, and we'll have more information for you afterwards. So with that, we're going to do Joe Cargard. Good afternoon, and uh, welcome to the introduction of Matt Braga as the 21st head coach of baseball at Rice University. Coach, we're very happy to have you and Elisa here today with your family, uh, who I hope you'll take a moment to introduce when it's time for your comments. Uh, before I talk a bit about the search, I'd like to thank a few people. Uh, Rick Mello and Brandon Sherling did an outstanding job assisting with all aspects of the search. Rob Griffin and Bridget Gorman helped provide Matt with a glimpse of the academic and social side of Rice. Joe Davidson, Richard Zansitis, Kathy Collins, and Tanner Gardner help expedite the final stages of the search. Many alumni, including former players, donors, and fans offered valuable perspective on what has made baseball so special on this campus. And finally, our president, David Lebron, who provided guidance and support to me during the process. The Rice baseball family hasn't been through this in a while. 27 years ago, Bobby May introduced Wayne Graham as the 20th head coach in Rice history. Coach Graham took over a program without a compelling story. The Owls had never been to the NCAAs and had finished in the bottom half of the Southwest Conference 72 times in 83 years. Over the next 27 years, Coach Graham accomplished the impossible, taking Rice baseball to the NCAA tournament 23 straight years including 11 appearances in the Super Regionals, seven trips to Omaha, and of course, the 2003 National Championship. Needless to say, the program today is not the same as it was in 1992. And when you set out to find the right person to carry on the legacy of Rice Baseball established over the past quarter century, you have to make sure you're thorough. Our search lasted about two weeks, engaging several established college coaches and those with deep ties in professional baseball. We looked in every nook and cranny, turned over every rock, and eventually found our match in Matt Brega. What made our new head coach stand out? I like to think a search like this comes down to three things. Your experience, or what have you done? Your interview, or what do you say? And your references, or what do others say about you? In Coach Braga, we have a seasoned college baseball coach with 15 years of head coaching experience at the Division I level. He went from 15 wins in his first year at Tennessee Tech to 53 wins this year, an at-large berth in the NCAA tournament, a win at the Ole Miss Regional in Oxford, and a hard-fought Super Regional against the Longhorns in Austin. Oh, and he also had eight players drafted this year, including two pitchers, which should warm the hearts of Rice Owls fans in the first seven rounds. During the interview, Coach talked baseball, how he'd structure, structure practices, the importance of pitching and defense, and the role of a good strength program. But he also talked to us about the importance of establishing deep relationships with student athletes. When the players know you love them, he told us, you can make them believe anything is possible. Finally, I'd like to share with you comments from another head coach, one whose team recently won a national championship. Quote, I love him. I'd send my own son to play for him. He's a well-balanced male mentor who creates an atmosphere of growth and positivity. Everyone in the profession respects him. And this from an athletics director. I didn't know his program before I saw them up close this year. Man, were they impressive. He does such a good job on the field and he and his players handle themselves with class and dignity off the field. So when I think about why Matt Braga stood out in our process, it's really all three things. What he's done, what he said, and what others said about him. Now I'll let him speak for himself. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to our new head coach, Matt Braga.
this so much. Oh, I think I would. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's 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 uh it's it's um humbling to hear um, anybody talk about you. You know, as a person, I think anyone that's ever had anything said good about him, it's kind of almost hard to listen to because they're like, ah, no, nah, not really, you know. So, uh, so thank you for all of that, and, and um, I am first and foremost honored to be a Rice Owl and be here, and um, I thank you, President LeBron and Joe Carlgaard for all the work you've done, and Rick Mello. Um, these guys have been really special to me just in the short time that I've been here, as has everybody else to my family and I, and we're uh, blessed for that. Let me get this jersey on. Hey, don't hate me for this, please, because I know, I know we're in Houston Astros country and we'll come to love them, but I am a New York Yankee fan. And so, 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 so the pit, no, I'm sorry, no, please. I just lost a lot of people. No, no, I just lost a lot. You guys were all on board. You're like, wow, Joe really built this up good. And then I told you that and I blew it. So I'm just kidding. Hey, so, so, so thank you guys. And, and I also really uh, want to introduce my family to you guys because they're so special to me and um, I'm blessed to have them. Sorry. This is my wife, Alisa, and I love her dearly, and she is, uh, she is, she is sacrificed, as the coaches' wives do, you know, in a lot of professions, not just coaching, but she sacrificed a lot over the years to allow me, me to go be a college baseball coach. So, so, so blessed. And hey, just so you know, in the room, she's a college athlete. She ran track, don't hate us for this either, but she ran at Kentucky. Um, tr track and cross country, and she ran at the University of Alabama. So she really gets sports, and I think that's pretty cool. Then next to her is Luke, our son. He's 13. And then next to him is Emmy, our daughter. She's 10. They are college baseball fanatics. Like, Luke is following it all. He knows as much as I know, like, honestly, about who's winning and what the players are. He already basically close has the roster at Rice ready. Like, he's like, he knows what's going on. And then I got to tell a quick story about Emmy because you guys will love this as college baseball people. We're at the Super Regional play in Texas, and I stay by myself when we're on the road, and, and my family, they stay kind of down the hall in another room, and one night, I'm like, hey, what, which one of you guys wants to spend the night with me? She's like, ah, oh, me, you know, 10-year-old little girl, she's all pumped to go stay with her dad. So she comes in, and the way the room was set up, it was two rooms, and I said, hey, go to bed, I'll be right in. So she goes to bed, she turns the TV on, and I walk in a few minutes later, and guess what she's watching? College baseball on TV. And I'm like, ah, you know, <laughs> this is awesome. So, so I'm just so fortunate to have them. My mom and dad are both here as well to support me. And, and I thank Rice for allowing them to come and, and you guys allowing them to be here. But so Rice baseball. So what, what an amazing combination. When you think about Rice University, you think about like the academics and where, where this university is academically. I mean, my goodness, it's one of the most prestigious academic institution in this United States of America. Let's go, right? That's awesome. You then, as you're on campus, and you always think about recruiting when you're a coach, you look at the beauty of the campus. You're like, let's go. Like, this is, this is amazing. And you look out beyond the outfield fence, and you see the setting back there. What young man in this United States of America would not want to come here to play college baseball? And then... From the baseball perspective, when you look at Rice, you think about baseball, like baseball and what Coach Graham has done here over the years, phenomenal. And I've got to tell you guys, so gracious, he took the time yesterday to walk my entire family around the facility. I got to shake his hand and meet him, and I'll continue to pick his brain on the game of baseball. You also think of all the guys that have come through this program, the alumni, the players, the guys that have played before that led to all those College World Series appearances, all those championships, the 2003 Natty, right, the national championship, just amazing. You guys, the alumni, have built this program to where it is and where it's going. So I'm grateful to be your baseball coach and behind the great history of, of this program. Look forward to getting starting winning championships. And, and with that, what you can expect from me, I think it's very important to know, Anyone that knows me is going to be like, okay, what you're going to get is high energy, great passion, blue-collar work ethic mentality, 
competitiveness, we will compete every single day that we're doing anything. If we're walking to class, let's see who can get there first. If we're playing ping pong, who's going to win ping pong? If we're on that field in a bullpen, in, a, in, in the cages, batting practice, who's winning? It will be scored. Guys will be ranked. I love competitors. Competitors win. Okay, so competitiveness is so huge. And then the last thing, and there's many others, because I think you can look at different parts of the program. Hopefully I'm a pretty good dude and, 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 and strong morally, right? No doubt, I believe that. But you look at also the slight edge principle. When you think about trying to separate yourself as a program from others, and what can we do as a baseball program to gain slight edges on other programs throughout the country? Well, we're in Omaha winning the College World Series. And when you look at that, you think about things that a lot of people forget. In the development of a young man, it's, you hear coaches all the time talking about, oh, we're going to develop the young men. Absolutely. Well, how do you do that? We will take time here to do personal development, where we actually talk about how can we develop our inner selves and our beings to just be better. And so we'll take the time even off the field to do things of that nature. What you can expect from our student athletes, our guys, I really believe with everything you're, you're going to expect a lot of toughness, a lot of grit, the get after it mentality we talked about before, the competitive spirit, because competitiveness is so key and vital in everything you do and leading up to winning championships. You can expect ownership. One thing I've learned over the years, it's so important, and I did not know this as a young coach, guys, but you have to give ownership to players. The goals. You have to be able to talk to young men and know, hey, what are the goals you guys want to reach? Because at the end of the day, we need as a coaching staff and this university, our players to take ownership of the program. So that'll be talked about, especially with our veterans, guys that are coming back. And then we want leadership, leadership out of our young men, where, because I'm telling you, the best teams have internal player leadership, period. At the end of the day, there is internal player leadership where they are on the field. You hate to say it because the coach puts them there, but it becomes this well-oiled machine that the young men take such great ownership and leadership in. So that's what you can expect from our players. And now let's get started. Um, what questions do you guys have for me, if any? If any. Hey, man, how are you? This is uh, Glenn Hill with the Houston Chronicle. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about or maybe try to summarize what the last month has been like for you? Yeah, it's been it's been the last month has been uh, fast. I think it's been really it's been really fast and, and it's but it's been really exciting when you're in our profession. What you strive to do, I can remember 15 years ago sitting in a room at Tennessee Tech where I come from. And I was in a com with a committee of 12 people. And, and I told them, I said, hey, open your booklet that I had handed you to the last page. And it was a picture of Rosenblatt Stadium. And I'm going to answer, I'm answering your question, I promise. But it was a picture of Rosenblatt Stadium where the World <laughs> Series used to be. I said, listen, you guys hire me as your baseball coach. We will get this program to Omaha. We will get this program to Omaha. And honestly, two guys in the back corner kind of chuckled. Like, oh, like, is he sure? You know, because, because no offense, Tennessee Tech does not have the history that Rice Baseball does. So when they heard that, I told Elisa as we were going home that evening, I'm like, I don't think I'm getting the job. And she's like, she's like, why? And I'm like, she goes, not, no, it went really well. But I said, I don't think they believe what I told them can happen. So, and I did not give them a timeline. I did not say how long it would take, but it, it would happen. Well, this year, Yes, we did not get there, but we got one game away from Omaha, okay? And, and continuing that, keep me there, it would have happened. But, so we were close. As I look back at the last month and trying to build to the point I just explained to you, it was a great ride. We had an incredible group of young men. We had exactly what I was talking about. Guys that are competitors, great internal leadership, ownership of the program. I mean, to, I think we had like the seventh most guys drafted in, in all of Division I baseball. So it was amazing to watch those young men reach their dreams. And then it was the, maybe the Friday prior to the Super Regional, Rice reached out, Joe reached out, Rick reached out to me and talked about this program and asked me some questions. And of course, I'm extremely excited and ready to roll. And now it's just getting to the next phase of, of getting where we're going with this program. Matt, Mark Berman from Fox. So what was it like for you at that moment when Joe called you and said, you're his guy? 
Oh my goodness, um, it was it was fantastic. I mean, it was it was one of those moments that, in our profession, Mark, you just you wait for that call. You really do. You wait for that call. And when Joe called me, he first question he asked me that day was, "Hey Matt, what you know? What do you? How do you guys feel? You know, what's your family think?" Elisa had come with me down here on the visit and looked around, and and I'm like, "Oh, we're in. If you want us, we're in. We're excited." And, and that's when he said, well, Matt, you're our guy, and, and, and we'd love to have you. And then it was a no-brainer. I'm like, good, let's go. So. Hey, Matt, Matthew Bartlett with The Roost. Uh, question was, what, what about Rice made it worth uprooting and moving away from Tennessee and coming to Texas and taking a chance? Rice is, is a program that, as you coach in our profession, there are – jobs that are top 25 jobs so to say and and rice is probably better than that to be honest but this is a job that is an elite program in college baseball and my expectations for what are going to happen here are high and it is honestly just what you have i mean at the end of the day and, and what has been done here and can continue to be done it made it a very easy decision. As tough as it was to leave Tennessee Tech, because my family and I had been there for 15 years, so it's a very difficult thing to leave great, great people and a great organization and a great program and a great university, but this is a special opportunity and we're excited. Hey Matt, Adam Wexler, KPRC. How much information did you have about the Rice program, even over the last couple of years, not just this year in the coaching search? What did you know about Rice and their baseball program? Rice, um, Rice has been well known to me because I'm, I'm as, I, as I mentioned, our, our son is a huge fan of college baseball and my whole family is. I am an even bigger fan. And so, so um, I've known about Rice since I started coaching. I mean, maybe even my last years of college ball in the early 90s. And so it was a, a situation that you, you look at and you're like, wow, they, they win, they win. And I understand, that, you know, maybe they haven't won as much lately, but it's still an incredible place and a great place to coach college baseball, one of the very best in our country. Matt, David Pierce from Texas, uh, Mark Berman from Fox. Yeah, David yeah. Pierce from Texas said that when asking him to describe uh, what you're all about from the ch short time he was around you, he said your, your teams are unflappable, incredibly prepared, work hard. When you have that from the opposing coaches, what does that mean to you? Well, it means an awful lot, especially coming from a guy like David. I have so much respect for him and what he's done in his career. Um, and with that program, just in the two years that, he, that he's been there, um, absolutely amazing with amazing track record and being a former coach here. And so it just means a lot. I, 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 you know, one thing I would say, and I would tell this to anybody, um, doesn't really answer the question, but it has to do with a guy like David Pierce. I am uh, humbled, first of all, to hear that. But second of all, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to learn from anybody. And I even mentioned this in my interview. I don't know a lot about soccer, but I will even study great soccer coaches, which I've done in the past, to try to help make our program that we have better. So anything David can even give me at this point in time, I'll take it. I guess going from a school like Tennessee Tech to a Rice, do you expect any sort of uh, adjustment as a coach, seeing as it's a different profile? No, not, not really. I. I it's a, it's, a, it's a great question, but one thing that I would say, and I tell this to people all the time, and this is no offense to Tennessee Tech, because at the, at the end of the day, how, the best way I can say it is if you can do it at Tennessee Tech, because the resources aren't bad, but they're not great. And I was very well supported and people loved us, loved our program. But if you can do it at Tennessee Tech, we can do it big time at Rice. And so, so there, it's, it's only better. It only can be better at, at bottom line. No question, no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Good question, though. What else? Last question, Mark. When you walked in here, Matt, you walked around, looked around, you see your, your face, your name all around this room. What's that like seeing that on these, on these the, the graphics, if you will? Well, I'm a baseball coach. I mean, I'm a baseball. At the end of the day, I like to get on that field and get dirty and roll my sleeves up and go to work. So it is a little bit like, whoa, geez, you know, <laughs> the camera's over here. I'm like, man, I'm not that. You're like, no, don't get that close, you know. And so, so, but, but it, but it also shows an amazing amount of support for this program. 
and, and we will take every positive, you know, report or, or news report that we can get. And so the more people that can crowd in here, no matter how hot it is and how sweaty I get, we'll, <laughs> let's, let's, let's pour them in. As overwhelming as it could be, because you're right, you walk in like, I'm a baseball coach, you know, but let's go. Like, we, we want the publicity, we want good publicity, and, and because the more recognition we get, it only can help our baseball program and our university in, in the good way. Thank you, Coach. I, I need one favor from everyone, because with the excitement and whenever I stood up when we uh, presented the jersey, I need to get a photo for everybody in the back. So right now I need to have Joe and Matt take a couple pictures, and then once we get done with that, then we can everybody exit, and it's the second floor of the Moody Center, which is across the uh, parking lot, and there'll be some people there to help you uh, reach the destination for the reception. Thanks. Media will do our one-on-ones in here. Everybody else, we'll see you at the reception. Thank you.